This wig also comes with an elastic band. Right now, it's left on the last setting, but if you do need that, it comes with it. It comes with a little bit of extra lace in the back, so it does give you a chance to, you know, wear this wig up, which is cool. I like that. In this wig comes one, two, three, four, four combs. So we have a comb on each side, a comb in the middle, and a comb back all the specs will be linked down below or will be mentioned later in this video and i just want to let you guys know how the wig looked when it first came it has baby hairs pre-made as you can see it looks really natural so this is just the unboxing video and you know so far so good so if i do make any customations to this wig i definitely will let you guys see that so yeah you guys are gonna see me install this wig next so stay tuned so I'm just showing you guys how the hairline looks. If you guys want a mannequin head like this, I'll leave the link down below. But anyways, this is pretty natural. This is my foundation. My hair is straight back, like I am came from jail. So I'm just prepping by rubbing some alcohol on my hair, where the lace is gonna be. I'm gonna take this L'Oreal foundation in the color C7, which is my skin tone, and I'm gonna tint the lace with this foundation. Don't forget to set it with a powder too. And just look at how much of a difference that made. Natural. Yeah, so I'm just showing you guys. I put the elastic bank on the tightest setting. And now I'm just going to throw the wig on. So once I have the wig on, I'm just going to adjust it and make sure it's on right. I'm going to put the hair up and out of the face so I can begin fitting the frontal piece for my head. So right here, I'm just going to take a comb and part out where my air rests. And then I'm just going to take a scissors and cut it right out. So I'm just going to do that on both sides. When you do this, don't forget to separate your little side burn piece that you want because then you'll end up with no air taps. And yeah, don't do that. <laughs> don't be that person. <laughs> So now I'm seeing where my hairline is and adjusting it and I'm just gonna fold the frontal back 
that way I can just pull it down when I'm ready to you know when I'm ready to stick it down so I'm just making sure everything fits it looks good so flip it right back how it was and I'm gonna use ghost bond lace glue and yeah I'm just gonna dot it on and use this eyelash cover you know you gotta use what you gotta use girl and um to smooth out the glue so I'm just gonna do the middle and then the sides and I'm gonna do a couple of layers this is just the first layer and I'm gonna do about three so that's what you'll be seeing in the next clips So I'm gonna let those two layers get completely clear and that's why I'm using the blow dryer and after this, this is the third and final layer, I'm going to let it get semi clear. It's gonna be a little white and that's when I'm going to apply my lace. So I'm just going to use this comb to press down the lace into my skin, give it a secure grip. I'm just making sure it's on, right? So yeah, make sure you're pulling the lace very tight so that way it lays flat on your head. And then I'm using my blow dryer on a cool setting to further set the glue. So right here, I'm just making sure the hairs are not glued down by the lace glue. So I'm going to work in sections. I did the middle and now I'm doing the side. And then I'm just doing the same thing, letting the glue get a little clear, not completely clear, and then applying the lace. And then I'm just going to do the exact same thing on the other side. One, two, three, boom. Bruh, damn, my lips is dry as hell. Look how tight they look. Like, I need some water. I need some water. Because them lips is not it. <laughs> Bruh. So now I'm going to take my scarf and tie it down just to, you know, further compress the lace into my skin. I'm going to leave this on for about 20, 30 minutes. Most likely 20 because I'm impatient. Yeah. So while that is setting, I'm just going to start playing with the hair. This hair was very freaking soft. Like it was it gave me a little bit of shedding, but um I kind of expected that with curly hair. I mean it was super soft. So um I don't know I keep saying it was soft, but it was soft. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just running my hands through the hair to separate the curls. And as you can see, my hand was going right through the hair. I'm just gonna try to flatten this part and make it look more natural. I didn't have any tweezers on hand, so I'm just using my hands to pluck the hairs and create a thicker part because it was too thin for me. And I'm just gonna take this flat iron and use the heat from it to try to get it laying as flat as possible. So that looks good to me. So now I'm just gonna put the hair up, remove the hair tie, and here's the part where my camera skills were sucky. So in this little clip right here, you can see that I'm starting to like cut off the lace. I started with the middle and then went out of frame. Yeah, and I'm just doing zigzag motions and the rest of the clip is like this. So yeah, I suck and yeah, next time I know better. So to lay my baby hairs, I'm going to use the Goss to be gel, clearly the yellow bottle, and I'm just going to use the baby hairs that they already made. What I like to do before I lay it down completely with the gel, I like to just brush it with no product to see how it's going to lay and then apply the gel after. So that's what you'll see me doing around the perimeter. If you did 
didn't know baby hairs is a real serious thing man it's a real sport so you know you gotta get your swoops and, and, and things in order so don't be scared if your lace lifts up while you're doing your baby hairs um all you gotta do is after you finish your baby hairs just press that sucker back in like you're gonna see me do and you see it melted right back in so yeah just continue doing baby hairs along the perimeter you don't have to do your baby hairs this dramatic i just did because i felt like i don't know i wanted to see the more dramatic look on me so right here i'm just going to style the hair just a little bit and i made a part and i'm just gonna pluck it to make that part thicker and after i do that i'm just gonna use some concealer which is the la pro girl concealer in the color toffee and i'm just gonna put that right along the part just to make it stand out more and to give me a more natural look so here i'm just showing you the part and then here's the part where i'm applying the concealer so I just rubbed my fingers against the hair and it blended it right in. Yep. And this is the final look, you guys. I'm loving this hair so far so good. The curls are really pretty. The hair is super soft. I don't know what it is, but this hair is giving me real Nikki vibes. Got a kiss with your name on it. Cute song. <laughs> But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for my hairstyling video using this wig. And I'll see you in my next one. Don't forget the link to this wig will be left in the description. Don't forget to check it out as well. Thank you guys so much. Bye.